Good morning, inflatable fans. It's early doors and you probably can't see that much of me at this moment in time. It's about half past five in the morning and I'm down at Selby Canal and I'm meeting up with Darren. Darren's got his SUP, bringing his SUP down. I've got this story kayak and we're going for a paddle on Selby Canal. I've got here a little bit earlier because I need to get set up. So I'm going to do that now. So we're at West Haddlesey Lock, there's Daz, we're using this staircase to uh, activate social distancing. Yeah. So there's our respective craft, there's Daz's paddleboard and my story kayak. And we're just about to cook some breakfast and have coffee. So we've done nigh on four miles from uh, Brayton to here. We're going to have something to eat, bake the next sandwiches and stuff and then we're going to head back. I had to change the batteries over in the bloody sat nav, didn't I? <laughs> you need laugh! <laughs> you with your fancy Garmin Fenix. Right, so we've stopped off, we've paddled all the way from Selby, well sorry, from Brayton, down to West Haddlesey here, and we've had breakfast. What time is it now, Daz? It is 9.14. 9.14? Right, okay. Uh, we, we've been stopped for over an hour. <laughs> it's been nice though. Pleasant. Yeah, so we've had coffee, we've had breakfast, and we're now going to have an enjoyable paddle back to Brayton. And there's a bit of sun trying to find its way through. Yeah. Which is always good. It is. What did you say happened to this bridge? It, by, it with a tractor or something? I think, I think something like that, yeah. I did ask them while we were working on it. I can't remember what they said now. I think it was the top. I think something tried to come through or a combine or something like that. Damaged it. What's it called? Tankard's Bridge? Should be Drunkard's Bridge. Yeah. <laughs> I want to chase the car into Selby Canal. Yeah? <laughs> oh, look at the willows starting to come into bud. It's funny because on one side it's all pretty trees yeah. and then if I turn, look at that, not quite so pretty is it? <laughs> Oop. I'm make it look like you know what you're doing, Cal. Oh, that's the female. I wonder where the male is. There's the other one, Daz. Nesting. Over in that reeds over there. It's always a little bit amazing, isn't it, how it opens up here? Yeah. Always catches me a bit by surprise. <laughs> it is jolly nice.
don't want to be caning it after big fat sandwiches. It's been very quiet today. Yeah. I've got to admit, I've often seen more on the bank than I have today, as you say. Really? Yeah, yeah. Being, being at this angle, I'm being elevated, I can obviously see straight down yeah. into the water. It's less than a foot deep here. <laughs> I might get out and walk. Yeah. We got a fisherman. Yeah. All right, how are you doing? You caught anything yet? This time. Is that one of your friends on top of the bridge there? Uh, Daz? All right. That's why I'm sat down. My balance isn't as good. <laughs> We're getting a ball. Yeah, I'm just going to get burned with this little present. From me travels. It is, it's nice to have it behind us, isn't it? Yeah. Gentle breeze behind us and a gentle current in our favour makes for a lovely paddle back. It's not often you see kind of ripples on here. I hadn't noticed on the way down just how kind of feral and more rustic this area is, isn't it? Overgrown. Yeah. It's not, um, it's not walked anywhere near as much. People tend to go as far as the, bridge, the burn bridge and turn round. Yeah. On the canals themselves, but they don't tend to walk up here. This is more people that live in the villages out this way, that way, walking this way and back. Yeah. Seen. So much big, it just died. And I didn't catch whether it was a fish. <coughs> or potentially something bigger and furry. Right, okay. Just it died here. You're thinking otter? Yeah. But I'm also thinking 
potentially fish. fish. It'll have been a biggish fish. Yeah, probably. Either that or the otters using a reed as a breathing pipe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it started getting a bit warmer. So both Darren and I have taken a layer off. Supposed to get to about 15 degrees today. I don't think it is. Get warm, Daz, the hat's off. <laughs> Kid. Can't believe we're back at Burn Bridge already. Morning. Sorry, not Burn Bridge, I meant Burton Hall. Yeah, this is the one with the cross. And I'm, I'm, I feel upset that I kind of missed all our conversation about vacuum cleaners <laughs> on camera. Right I've, I've got it on the recorder. Yeah, I waited for the right bit for that. Yeah, you certainly picked yourself. You waited till the camera was off. I didn't want to. Uh, I didn't want to admit that in public. <laughs> <laughs> the vacuum pressure. Well, it might be on the recorder, but it won't be on the video. <laughs> I might be able to find a way to incorporate it. I think vacuum cleaners are one of those bits of technology that either make your life really easy or really difficult. And so few of them get it right. My God, that reeks, doesn't it? It's the feel here. Yeah. Those dafts look pretty through the red mesh. Yes. <laughs> I'm not going to call you a lucky bastard or anything like that. We're back at Burn Bridge already.
Cheers. Morning. Morning, all right. Grand. It's a lovely day for it. It's a lovely day to be stood on a riverbank with a big stick in your hand. Or in a boat. Or in a boat with another big stick in your hand. <laughs> I'm glad I put a bit of sun protection factor on today. I did, I've got some moisturiser with some SPF in and I used those. Do you know what that sculpture's for? Yeah, yeah I, I, I can see it's birds, isn't it, in a tree? Yeah, yeah, I don't know if it's actually got a purpose other than that. Right. You had to spot a what? I've yet to spot a bank, see? <laughs> There's plenty of banks, see? There go the ducks. Yeah. Morning. In here. Whoop. You're right, we still have to do pock. Like right? Yeah, we still have to do that one. You've done it before, haven't you? Sorry? You've done Pocklington before, yeah, haven't you? The right. We're st we're still on that right. I'm looking for that blue, what I thought was a blue drum. It's just past, you've just passed it. Have I? Yeah. Is it a blue drum? It is on the starboard side, yeah. <laughs> on the starboard side. Look at you, fancy pants. Oh, there it is. There it is. Well, I don't think I'm getting in there. No, it's a bit solid. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> I know I've got a hard nose on this thing. Well, that's asking a bit too much of it. It's not a, bl a food drum anyway, it's just a general yeah. drum. I thought that might be something salvageable. I actually, I don't think it's one of them food consoles. I think no. it's a five gallon drum. It is, isn't it, by the look of it? It's like your drum. Yeah. There was a load in here at one point. Was there? Yeah. Whether someone had thrown a load in and they floated it down or not, I don't know. Maybe so, yeah. It's usually people that have been nicking diesel that have a lot of this. <laughs> Morning. Morning. You had much joy? <laughs> I'll take that as a no then. That does look a tad phallic. <laughs> Breezy's just pulling me at the moment. <laughs> Works. On a windy day, you can definitely feel it pulling. Yeah. It's a lot to think about, isn't it? Yeah, massive amount. It's hard. What time is it now? Shall we go into town? Yeah, let's just pull up under the bridge for a minute. And I'll just sort, sort, sort my gear out. Sort my scent out and then we'll, have a, we'll go a bit further. Well, we've got back to Brayton where the cars are parked. 
And Darren suggested that we go a bit further and do the whole damn thing. So that's what we're going to do. This might be a bad idea. I figured it might be a good idea to put a hat on. I'm glad I bought this soft one. What have you been retrieving? I've dropped a ball. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've dropped a ball at now. <laughs> Is it my imagination or has the wind turned round or have we just moved into it? Because that did just blow straight at us then, didn't it? I think it did, yeah. Oh, is it that nest up there, look? Oh, yeah. This isn't... Uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to doing this because it's a little bit like not paddled before. Have you never done it? No. Never oh, done you will really. enjoy it. No, no, this is what I'm saying. I've not done this bit. Right. I've always instinctively gone the other way. Yes. I've thought to myself, oh, it's not very far this way. Yeah. Oh, it's one of these, it's worth a look. What you might find is, once you've done it... Yeah, you'll not do it again. Yeah, even though I am doing it again. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but you never went under the bridge. Are we going to try it? Oh, yeah. I'm going to get some speed up and get laid flat. And if I get stuck... I'll you'll shove... You'll only have to swing the bridge to get me out. <laughs> In fact, you're the best person with a chance to actually get under there. Out of the two of us. Yeah. It, you'll probably find that there's more room than you actually think. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, because I haven't seen it from that angle. You have. I reckon I could get underneath. You ever done much fishing? Um, I've got more beach casting. Struggling with words seems to be something we both have today. Yeah. Good plan, Batman. Yeah. But at Curtin, I've seen them, I've seen them, um, like I said, they go around that headland and then all of a sudden you've got a big star, isn't there? A big star, isn't there? There is. You can get out of your boat there and you can go um, swimming, cave jumping, there's all sorts there. In fact, they run a little trip. They run a little trip from Cape and Surf School. Right, so okay. We... And there are seals too. Yeah. Well, that killed the conversation. <laughs> it does look like a bit of a, a big family outing coming up here. Hold out. I said it before and I'll say it again. That wide beam really is beautiful. Hello!
Well, we were in the quiet area. We were in a quiet area, not anymore. I'll tell you what, buddy, my shoulders know they've had a workout. My shoulders know they've had a workout. He's definitely fluffing himself at you. <laughs> Ooh, a little bit low, isn't it? <laughs> doable, that. Run up. You reckon? Yeah, get run up, get laid down. It's low. It's all good fun though. It's all good fun. Alright? How do? How do you know it? Okay. So we're approaching Selby Swing Bridge. <laughs> nah, I'm just going to go for a make or break situation. I oh, know, we're both going for it. And I'm going to leave the camera on to see what happens. <laughs> In fact, what I'll do is I think I'll point the camera at me as I go underneath. Are you going under first? I'll go for it, mate. Daz is going for it first. So we might as well watch Daz, see if he makes a bell end of himself as he goes under. I mean, he's got more of a chance of getting underneath than me, to be fair. He's cutting it a bit fine, isn't he? <laughs> and he's there. Question is, can I make it? I'll tell you what, it's going to be really close for me. Yeah, it's very low, mate. Yeah. Touch and go, that. It is going to be touch and go. rough I nearly went in there do you notice and I'll give myself a stomach cramp oh. son of a bitch <sighs> getting back's gonna be fun I'm gonna have to find another way to do that oh my god thankfully because of my principle of lashing everything to the boat the only thing I lost was the ball I picked up from his dog. And now, we're nearly at the end of the Eagles. Sorry, the end of Selby Canal, where it actually meets the Eagles. That's a good place to cut his hair. Just let the wind take the wisps away. Mate, I nearly went in. Yeah. 
I'm not kidding, the boat tipped. And it was only because I was able to grab hold of one of the, the, the supports under the bridge that I didn't go over. I knew it would be tight, right? But, but yeah, it did. I thought I, I thought I was in. That's what I said to you. I said that that's going to be tight for you. Yeah, I thought I thought I was in. <laughs> oh, right? yeah, I was a bit of a shock. Yeah. Did you did you go back? Did you lie backwards? I, I couldn't get because of the seat. Right. So what I did was I went forward, and then because I was oh. then stuck underneath, <laughs> right, I, and, and then there's cars going over red, obviously, because it's, and it sounds awful. Yeah. But. Um, I then got a gut cramp, so as I came out of it, my bloody stomach was cramping up. But and you can see all, all this, Where? all this got soaked oh, because it, it actually went over. Oh, you see it? Oh. I actually took it off as I went in. Yeah. Because I thought there's no way I'm going to make that. Actually, no, lying backwards is the way to go. But your seat won't allow, your seat won't allow it. Yeah. What I might act, what I might actually do is, is slide forward. Yeah. Um, um, there's a ring here, yeah, mate. Yeah, I'm going to. Uh, I'm, I'm going to get rid of them. Get rid of them. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to take another layer off. Have I still got my coat? Yeah. You've still got your coat, but everything's still there. <laughs> well, thankfully, because I have a propensity for lashing everything, yeah. I wasn't going to lose anything other than the stuff I haven't lashed, which is my coat and my hat. Right, so I've just had a little pit stop just to sort some gear out and take another layer off. Because, as you can see, the sun's out, it is bright. Escapes got caught in a load of weed or something. It's just dragging. So this is the end of the line. So we've now done the whole canal lock to lock. How cool is that? As he's back at the bridge already. Sorry for any wind noise. I've got dead cats on, but everything has its limitations, right? Oh dear. Right, it will come to that bridge again. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I'm wondering if I can just slow back. A little bit. So that's what we're doing again, getting under there. Oh, I found the ball that I lost. I wonder if I can get it. There it is. Hopefully I won't lose it again. Here we go. Let's turn the camera around so you can have a giggle. Thanks. At my expense. I think if I go down, I should. Can you see me? I'm going to clear it this time, it's going to be a lot easier. I just have to drag myself through. Although that does sound really daunting with the cars up ahead. <laughs> Low clearance! Low clearance! That was better. That was better than the last time. Oh, sorry for the shouting. Although you might not notice it because I might have turned down the volume and posted it. <laughs> Did it? I think I am going to turn the camera off now because we're just heading back. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. <laughs> That's the first time I've ever nearly tipped one of these. And you saw it first. So if you like this video, if you like watching me nearly fall in, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. And if you subscribe to the channel, when you open YouTube, you'll get a notification whenever I've uploaded any new videos. That's all for now. Happy paddling everyone. See you soon.